Hello everyone, I'm Ian's Cheese, also known as The Big Cheese because of this shirt I'm wearing. If you want to call me that, that's fine. But today I have a story to tell you. It's about the time I saw actor Chris Rock and I absolutely stalked him. And it all involves this Starbucks coffee cup. In today on Storytime with Ian's Cheese. What better place to tell a story than on a couch? I got this couch when I was in college and I had a sign on it that said free couch and it was in a hallway and I didn't ask any questions. It didn't smell that bad. If you're gonna tell a story, you have to get comfortable. I got my cheese cup holder and I gotta stay refreshed with some water, so. There you go. Oh. I was in LA recently for about five months. That's right, I was in Los Angeles, California, the place where all the actors live, where the movies happen, the lights, the cameras. I was living the dream. I was at a film school with a bunch of other film students where I made a web series pilot and I had an internship in Hollywood and I just learned about the whole industry that is the movie business because that's something I want to do one day. I mean, it was crazy. I was, I was in LA. The lights, the cameras, the beautiful weather, the beaches, Venice, Malibu. You know, it was, it was a dream place for me. It was a place I've always wanted to go. But there's one experience in particular I'm here to talk about that a lot of people say they haven't done before. And that's Stock, a famous Hollywood actor. So here's how the story goes. I was an intern while I was in LA and I was doing an internship where I was doing script supervising and I was answering phone calls and running errands and doing some, you know, video editing. It was for a nonprofit film organization, a very small organization. I learned a lot while I was there. I'm thankful for it, but I didn't have the best experience except for this one day. So while I was editing, the Wi-Fi went out. It's something that happened a lot while we were there. But luckily there was a local Starbucks nearby that had Wi-Fi. We got to the Starbucks, me and a few other interns, and we were sitting there working on our stuff while we were drinking some Starbucks drinks. I think I had a hot chocolate or something. Every time I drink, it looks like I have a disgusting look on my face, but it actually tastes pretty fresh. So me and the other interns were sitting there on our computers doing our work in this, you know, LA Starbucks. And um, we had known that some actors sometimes are on the strip. It's a common thing in Hollywood to see just a random actor walking on the street or you run into them in a store or something. It's a pretty common thing. So, you know, we're sitting there doing our work and all of a sudden one of the interns goes, hey, I think that's Chris Rock. And we see in front of the Starbucks, we see this guy who's got sunglasses on, he's got some headphones in, and he's just walking into the Starbucks. And what do you know? It's Chris freaking Rock. Chris Rock, the comedian, the actor in Grown Ups. In Madagascar, he plays freaking Marty the Zebra. Ta da! Da 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 circus! Da 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 circus! Da 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 so he walks in to the Starbucks calmly, you know, nobody even says anything because in Hollywood, it's not supposed to be like a big thing when you see an actor. It's supposed to be a nonchalant thing, you know? They're just a normal person. They're just trying to live their normal life in Hollywood. Don't freak out. Don't girl out over me and don't do that. I was actually tempted to say something to him, but I didn't want to ruin the moment. I didn't want to look like a freaking idiot. So, you know, he gets in line behind a few other people and he's kind of waiting there and I'm sitting, you know, typing on my computer and I'm just like, So he's standing there for a few minutes, waiting for his drink. They call it a name, he gets it. He goes outside in the sitting area outside and he sits there and he's just kind of nonchalantly, you know, his, his legs are crossed. He's, you know, taking a couple sips. I think he's on his phone scrolling. Maybe he's texting Adam Sandler, working on Grown Ups 3. And he takes like one more sip of his drink and he just leaves it at the table and he just leaves. And I was pretty disappointed because, you know, I really wanted to see more of Chris Rock. I mean, to me, this was like a Bigfoot sighting. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to see this mythical creature. So what do you gotta do? You gotta get it on film. So as he was walking away from the Starbucks restaurant, I quickly pulled out my phone and I took this video. <coughs> I know what you're saying and you're probably saying a lot there's a lot to say about this Ian for one that's creepy for two how do you know that was Chris Rock he was only on screen for like three frames for three again Ian this is creepy I mean what do you expect from me I'm not gonna invade a Hollywood actor's privacy so me and the other interns were excited about this you know this is something we can go back home and tell people oh we saw a Hollywood actor Chris Rock <laughs> I took it a little step farther. So when he was sitting at the table outside drinking his drink, 
He left the cup. He only took a couple swigs and he just left it there. So I decided to um, <clears throat> take the cup. I took Chris Rock's coffee cup sitting on the table. People, people, do not judge me, all right? You weren't in the situation. You don't know what you would have done. And I really thought about not getting it, but then I decided, you know what? This would make a great Ian's Cheese video. And I did wait a couple minutes just to see if maybe somebody would pick it up or maybe if Chris Rock would come back and take it. So I waited and waited and you know what? He didn't come back. So this is my golden opportunity to strike. I walk outside and I grab this coffee cup. This is Chris Rock's coffee cup, people. So I picked it up and it was basically like full. He would only drank a couple sips and I wanted to see his name, you know, Chris. That was on the cup because it was obviously Chris Rock. So I looked at the name and you see that name? Right there, uh, that doesn't say Chris. It says Cole. Now again, I know what you're saying, Ian. That probably wasn't Chris Rock, buddy. Stop! <coughs> Stop right there. I'm, I'm, I, I, I don't want to hear it. It was definitely Chris Rock. All right, I know it was Chris Rock because he had black skin and it was Chris Rock. So apparently in public, so he doesn't get recognized, he calls himself Cole. So I looked online and it's not his middle name, it's not his real name, he just calls himself Cole for some reason. It's probably because when he says his name Chris, people are like, hey, you're Chris Rock. That's something I would probably do. So he probably calls himself Cole so people don't call him out for who he really is. So if you're wondering what Chris Rock likes to drink, he likes drinking a caramel macchiato with double almond milk. I mean, it doesn't sound as delicious as a plain old warm hot chocolate, but hey. He's an actor, he can have whatever he wants. And look, it's even got the timestamp, 12, 22, 44. That is the moment I saw Chris Rock. And if you look at the lid, it even still has some of his like lip marks where he drank out of it and like a little bit of stain. And now that I'm talking about it, it is kind of creepy. Oh! So when I got back to my apartment, I obviously dumped out the drink. It's not like I would drink the drink that he drunk. I mean, it's kind of saliva and stuff all over. I wouldn't want to drink that. When I got back to my hometown, I told everybody about it. They found it really funny. But the one thing that everybody says is they actually don't believe it's Chris Rock. For one, the cup just says Cole. For two, that video pretty much proves nothing. That could have been anybody. But I'm telling you guys, I'm not crazy. It was Chris Rock. What did you want me to do? Call his name and be like, Chris, it's me, Ian from Ian's Cheese. And he'd turn around and be like, is that Ian from Ian's Cheese? That's my Chris Rock impression. So anyways, guys, that's my story. I stalk Chris Rock. Just realized that rhymed. I stalked Chris Rock. 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 I have some other LA stories to tell, like the one time I ran into Gary Busey and he actually grunted at me. Another once in a lifetime opportunity that will never happen again. If you want to hear that story, more stories like that, please leave a comment down below telling me that you want to. I definitely want to make another story time video talking about that. So thanks for watching Ian's Cheese. I am the big cheese. I'm going to go and stalk another Hollywood actor. I'm thinking Bradley Cooper. He's a pretty handsome guy. Bye guys. I can't get out of this couch. It's surrounded by stuff. I got to climb out. I stopped Chris Rock. 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 I stopped Chris Rock.